I hope you're ready to read some huge numbers today because we're learning about place value. Learning can be fun. If you like learning in exciting and engaging ways, then Talking Study Guides is for you. I'm Mr. C, and let's get started. Today, we'll be reviewing place value, and there'll be three challenges in the show for you to answer. Let's start by talking about digits. Digits are whole numbers starting with zero all the way up to nine. The number of digits that a number has helps determine its value. Let's look at the digit seven. Now seven is a digit, but it's also a number. It's a very small number because it only has a ones place. However, if we bump it up to 17, we see that we're now going into the tens column. Let's take a look at the number 317. It has a ones place, a tens place, and a hundreds place. Let's keep counting up. Now the thousands column is very unique because after you say the word thousand, you actually need to place a comma. The number on the screen says 6,319. After the thousands column, comes the 10,000s column, the 100,000s column, and then eventually the millions column. When you're reading big numbers, remember what we learned about the comma. First, say the numbers before the comma, 21, 1,482. Oh wow, that's a number in the 100,000s. Let's break it down though, just like we learned. 784,552. Place value refers to how much each digit of a number is worth. The position of the digit matters a great deal and determines its value. For example, if we look at the digit 3, it can have different values depending on where it's placed in a number. In the number 83, the three is only worth three because it's located in the ones place. In the number 35, the three now carries a value of 30 because it's a three in the tens place. In the number 329, the three is worth 300 because it's a three found in the hundreds place. Now is a great time to start reviewing the place value columns that we've learned. The smallest place value location for whole numbers is the ones place. Next door is the tens place and then the hundreds place. Then comes the thousands place, ten thousands place, hundred thousands place, and finally the millions place. You can keep counting up, but we're going to stop there. One important thing to remember when writing numbers that are 1,000 or greater is for every three digits, you need to remember to put in a comma. This brings us to our first question, which is a mystery number. The mystery number has three digits. The tens place has a zero. The ones place has a two. The hundreds place has a digit that is five greater than the digit that is in the ones place. Did you get it? The mystery number is 702. There's a few different ways we can show numbers using place value. Let's use the number 963. Standard form is how the number is written most of the time. So it's just 963. If you wanted to write the number out in expanded form, what that means is stretch the number out. We would write it as 900 plus 60 plus 3. If we wanted to write it in word form, we would simply just write it using words. I think we're ready for our second mystery question. What is 534 written in expanded form? The answer is 500 plus 30 plus 4. If you got that correct, wonderful job. That'll do. You're never too old to play with blocks. There's even special blocks that are created to represent numbers. 
They're called place value blocks. Maybe you've seen them. The small blocks that are only individual pieces represent ones. Skinny blocks that are tall represent tens. Blocks that have rows and columns of 10 represent hundreds. And blocks that are cubes and are pretty much too many to count represent thousands. The place value blocks right here are showing 231. The place value blocks right here are showing 1034. You have to be very careful when solving problems like these that have a zero. There are no place value blocks that represent hundreds, so when you're writing it in standard form, you have to make sure to write a zero. And now, your final question. What is the number shown by the place value blocks? If you said 2,305, you were correct. Great job. Thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, you're never too old to play with blocks or action figures or eat fun dip or order from the kid's menu or eat mozzarella sticks as an entree. Being a kid is pretty cool. We'll see ya.